there's more than one way to build a sundial. Hang me your drinking straw, Maya. Here you go, Professor. This will work. Oh, what better way to save our history walk than with a history clock? Let's get building. Yay! First, we mark the edge of the dial with the different times of day. <laughs> then, make a hole in the centre for our pneumon. Pop it in and set it at the right angle. <laughs> and voila! One sundial. But how does it work, Professor Bones? It's quite simple, really. Sunlight shines down on the pneumon so it casts a shadow. And the shadow falls on the marks to tell the time, just like the hands of a clock. That's amazing! Uh-oh, those clouds look very dark. What time does the shadow say? Well, according to our sundial, it's... Oh. Where's the shadow, Professor? Oh, dear. The clouds have covered up the sun. The sundial won't work without sunlight. Can Maya go shed some light on the situation? Look, it's sunny by lake every day. To the lake, everyone! Oh, they'll have to run like the wind because it's blowing those clouds towards the lake. <gasps> oh, no! The clouds are in the way again. We need another sunny place. Phew! <sighs> Talk about trying to catch some sun. There! By that oak tree. Come on! <laughs> but by the time they reach the forest, they're too late. It's no good. The wind keeps moving the clouds over the sun. I think it might be time to go home, class. Don't give up, Professor. Let's give it one more try. That castle's not far away. I bet we can make it there before the clouds do. Will Maya and her class make it to Everyday Castle in time to tell the time? Hooray! It's working! What time does it say? According to the sundial, it's nearly three o'clock. <gasps> three o'clock! It's nearly time to go! Maya, go every day. Maya, go left play. Maya, go... What do we say? Maya, go...